What's up, y'all? Um, JGC Sound here, and I'm going to drop it primitive on your asses because it's really hard to find some free time at home. So I'm going to start this new thing. It's like in the car reviews. Just set up the you know camera up in the car and do it like this, primitive style. I want to talk about Self's Gizmogery. Um, this album came out in 2000 on Sponge Bath Records. Um, it is done entirely with toy instruments. There's no uh, regular instruments whatsoever. Um, they have like Mickey Mouse uh, pianos. There's a whole list right here actually. Little Tyke Xylophone Mattel Disney Piano VTech Phone Pal. 200 Toy Phone Toy Antenna Twist. Uh, Play School Busy Guitar. Uh, toy Battery Operated Electric Drum. A Centipede. Uh, Suzuki Q chord. It goes on and on. There's just so much. Speak and spell. Uh, assorted generic toy cell phones. So there's all types of like weird sounds going on. and um, It's very quirky sounding. Uh, it kind of reminds me, well they kind of remind me of like how funky like soul coughing is. And um, kind of like the uh, obscurity that the dandy warhols bring but they're in a league all their own i mean these are just the only two bands that are you know hundreds of thousands of bands that i can even throw in a category with these guys um they could not tour this record uh, i was reading online it cost 80 dollars a day just in batteries alone to you know fuel all these toys to make this record uh, you can only imagine how much it would cost if they actually record $80 a day it's like you know $80 every show and what 90 90 uh, sh uh, venues across the US alone or something like that I mean that's insane but uh yeah this is a very very good record um, it's, it's got that mixtape feel um, it, it does have some cohesiveness but I don't know I, everything everything sounds like a single to me um, very uh, uh, kid uh, something you'd hear at, like a preschool even except are these guys like cuss up a storm and it's, they had a parental advisory sticker on when, on this when I bought it and they even do a, a cover on here they cover What a Fool Believes by the Doobie Brothers and I guess Michael McDonald from the Doobie Brothers is really happy with it uh, the job they did on that song, um, and it is, it's done very well, I mean, and it's amazing that they're only using toys, that it sounds, it sounds like self, but it does sound similar to the original, you know, it doesn't sound like a fucking mess, but, uh, yeah, they had one, um, single for this record, and it's called Trunk Full of Amps, um, you could find it here on YouTube, there's, a, like, a video for it, but, uh, basically, it, it repeatedly goes, I got a trunk full of amps, motherfucker, like Glenn Danzig, and then they'll do like a, a Dan, Glenn Danzig impression, and they'll go like, mother, and they'll do the same thing, I got a trunk full of amps, motherfucker, like Freddie Mercury, and they'll do a Freddie Mercury impression, and they'll do one for ELO, um, and a bunch of other ones, um, there's that song, the, the, you know, the explicit version, and there's also the edited version on this album, um, but yeah, this is a very, very good record. I've had this since 2000, and wow, it's been 10 years, and I still listen to this record uh, a lot, actually. I bust it out every, at least once a month, and bust this good thing out. It just makes me, you know, think of, like, comic book stores and, like, Toys, toys R Us and, uh... I don't know, shiny things, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, a, this is a really, really good record. Um, totally has that mixtape feel. I mean, I, can, I, I think of like uh, hip hop records when I listen to this rather than like an alternative pop, rock, quirky mishmash of sound that these guys are. Um, but yeah, if you can find this. Uh, I guess this is out on wax, and you can also find it on HD CD, which I have never even seen before. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing HD CD, but I guess it was short-lived. 
But uh, yeah, if you could find that, I, I imagine that's worth some some dough. But yeah, anyway, check this album out. It's uh, by a band called Self, and the album's called Gizmodry. And this is what the cover looks like. It's got cool art in the back, so it's like a couple kids, you know, uh, dancing next to a, like a stack of speakers with a, like a, a portable LP player on the ground. It's very good, very good record. Check this out. Self Gizmodry 2000 on SpongeBath Records. Alright, see you guys next time.